Even if you have never taken calculus, I personally believe that you can solve this problem. We have a function f of x, and f of x is represented by this entire row. We also have a function f prime of x, and the row for f prime of x is simply the derivative of f of x. And what we have on this far left row is the inputs for both of these functions. So what we're trying to do is calculate f of x with an input of 3 minus f prime of x with an input of 1. So to calculate this, I'm first going to evaluate f of 3. So I can go to my function f of x, and I can find where x equals 3. If I look at this row in this column, we end up at 45. Now what I'm going to do is evaluate f prime of 1. So I can go to my function f prime of x and find where x is equal to 1. If I go to this column and this row, we end up at 10. So using this chart, f of 3 minus f prime of 1 is the same thing as 45 minus 10. And 45 minus 10 equals 35. So 35 is the answer to this problem.